Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash defense video for you guys today. A brand new defense that I just started using and I've had amazing results. So as always, I'll show you guys uh, the previous defense that I was using and then I'll show you how much better uh, the new defense uh, performs for me. Before I get into that though, I'm going to show you guys what I'm running with on my defensive side because I have a lot of people that play Mutt that ask me what's my setup. I have a pretty good team right now. I got about a 94-95 overall offense and defense. I'm running a 25 Redskins, 25 uh, Chiefs lineup. Uh, as you can see, my defense and my secondary is just outstanding. I absolutely love my secondary. I can't complain at all. As far as my attributes go, uh, as far as my superstar uh, abilities, uh, I basically have Zone Hawk on my deep safeties, Acrobat pretty much all around. Uh, I got Mid Zone KO on two of my on one safety, one linebacker, and Sam Mills. Uh, and like I said, it's mostly Acrobat. Acrobat's probably my MVP. Um, I think that that's still one of the best cams to use. Uh, universal coverage also on one of my cornerbacks, uh, and that's pretty much it. Mostly zone related uh, stuff because I run mostly zone the entire game the defense that i've been running for the most part uh is a 335 at the moment i'm currently putting safeties at all my linebacker spots i'm running five safeties i got kendall fuller malcolm jenkins and uh tyron matthew at the, at the linebacker spots and then i'm also going to make sure that i put Derek thomas who's like a 93 speed on one of my defensive ends and then i also put chase young i move chase young inside a defensive tackle so i have all speed all over the field here and then the defensive play that i've been running for the most part you guys probably know is the cover three cloud uh this defense is still one of the better defenses in the game in my opinion i'm not saying it's not a good defense anymore but i do feel that since i put this defense out this this video the the videos that i put out about this have hundreds of thousands of views at this point so more and more people are running this more and more people are facing it and i think more and more people are finding out ways to beat it on the first play he just hits me with a, a pretty soft run tyron matthew coming in with the hit stick on bo jackson that's super realistic right uh on the next play second and six he's gonna run pretty much the same plays all game i see this exact motion uh, throughout the gameplay uh, he's basically just going to try to hit this underneath route here gotcha, and we're gonna get a pick six uh, right off the bat so Deion Sanders coming up with a huge interception he's gonna take it to the house super easily and like I said this is still one of the best defenses of the game as you can see on the second play of the game I'm getting a pick six but like I said a lot of people are figuring this defense out to the point where they can glitch it for a one play touchdown my opponent here he's just in a simple uh, gun tray wide flex it looks like he's in the fade smash you're gonna see once he runs the play he's just motioning out the running back I try to make some adjustments because I'm expecting an all-out pass based on the fact that we got five wide receiver set. And you can see this receiver here just runs straight past the cornerback and the safety on the cover three side. So he really just glitches out the cover three side. And based off of that, this early in the game, I really don't want to have to deal with that. So that's pretty much the last time I'm going to run that play. He shows me he knows how to glitch it out. The second somebody does that, I'm going to move on to a different defense. And I'll show you that on the next series. On the offensive side, though, I'm running the Niners playbook right now. I have a super explosive, hard to stop uh, run scheme for you guys. It's pretty much all based around the halfback stretch uh the uh the 01 trap and uh the skinny post but like i said I'll, i'm going to show you guys this in a future gameplay video also this is nearly impossible to stop uh, and that's what i'm going to run uh on this first series so hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a full breakdown gameplay video of this offensive scheme it's really simple uh to stop the stretch you basically have to spread the defense if they have a spread defense like this i'm just going to switch over to the 01 trap if they pinch the defense i'm going to switch over to the stretch it's really that simple and you're going to have dominant runs pretty much all game like you're gonna see on this first play here is we just bulldoze right through these guys like i said i got game plays that i'm gonna show you guys where i pretty much run this the entire game it drives my opponents to rage quit it's so hard to stop and it's so simple and basic on the next play looked like he was run committing there i don't know i don't know how much speed i need to have been gone there but i probably should have been gone there so on the next play he switches over to recover four i misread it i thought he was like in a zero blitz or something like that i wanted to hit him with the skinny post and then it drops into a cover four which is probably one of the few defenses that doesn't give this problems uh, and then I just basically play maker and wait on the uh, the tight end here in the flat and we get a nice easy catch and run. On the next play, we're going to hit him. If I have a red zone play, it's definitely the PAF slide. This is my number one inside the 10, inside the 20 play. All I do is streak this X route and as soon as I see him start to fiddle with this safety, he just moves his safety out just enough. Get locked. 
because I know it's a cover two. Everybody wants cover two in the red zone. So we can't get that ball out of our hand fast enough. We just bullet that in for an easy touchdown. Sure enough, I was right. It was a cover two, so I didn't have to do any other reads. That's a really simple play. Like I said, that's one of the hardest to stop red zone plays for that distance. On the defensive side, I know he's expecting me to run the same play, so I'm going to go with the cover four drop. This is kind of the second play in this formation that I like to use. And you can see he's in the same formation. He's going to motion out the running back the same way. He's probably setting this up to try to home run the defense. He probably expects me to be in the same cover three cloud. But sure enough, I'm not. I'm in the cover four. Like I said, this is the counter punch to this formation. He expects it. You can see it's the same play, but it doesn't glitch it the same way. And pretty much everybody's locked up, by the way. So he's going to hold the ball too long. He's going to get a covered sack. So you can tell you really didn't have a backup plan. You can tell he was looking straight for that route. On the next play, since I don't feel comfortable going back to that cover three cloud based on the fact that he's looking for that, I'm going to go to my old base defense, which basically cover two man out of the nickel normal. So we're going to try that one time, but I got to be honest with you. I haven't really run cover two man in so long. I really don't know how well it really works anymore. I'm really all about zone coverages now, uh, which is very different than the beginning of the year. All I really do is put this guy into a three wreck this defensive end, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, the man coverage just isn't what it was. So I got to find a new base defense, and I'm going to find that right now. But before I do, I just want to show you my opponent's stats with Aaron Rodgers. He's six for eight for 114 yards and a touchdown, and one touchdown he threw to me, obviously. So it means it's only the first quarter. So he's on pace for about 400, 500 yards. The defense that I'm going to switch to is out of the dollar three two six, uh, and you can use any you know one four six whatever. But the defenses I'm going to use, and I'm going to put in my audibles right now. I'm still a really big believer of the cover three cloud, although this is a cover three cloud show too, which means that it won't look like a cover three cloud. Maybe it'll be a little bit easier to run. He won't be looking for it. And then the second defense is the cover three lock. These are going to be the two main defenses that I've run the most, and they're going to give me a ton of stops and picks. So moving on, if there was a third play that I was going to put in this formation, they do have a cover four drop contain, but I'm not really going to use that too much now in this particular video. But when I put out the full breakdown of this, maybe in a couple of days in practice mode, I will be going over the, the breakdown for the cover four. So the only adjustments I really make, I'm just going to pinch my defensive line. I feel like I pretty much have the same amount of guys on the field. I got two safeties at the linebacker spots. I got uh, five DBs in the backfield. So I pretty much have the same three down linemen, same seven uh, defensive uh, backs on the field. On the first play, I mean, this is the first time I'm running it. He finds a little bit of space underneath. That's pretty much all he's going to have is flats. So on the next play, I make my adjustments. I put, uh, you know, same thing. Put my Chase Young at defensive tackle. I put my Derek Thomas at defensive end. It's pretty much the same personnel setup. And then obviously I have my safeties at the linebacker spot. So like I said, I got four safeties, four cornerbacks, plenty of speed on the field. And, you know, that's pretty much what you want because this is going to be a pass defense at the end of the day. So my opponent's still having a lot of success. Coming out on the next play, like I said, all I really do is pinch this defensive line so he doesn't get too much easy runs right up the middle. Uh, I also have the ability to three wreck the same way that I did uh, on the previous 3-3-5, which is typically what I'm going to do because the three wreck kind of acts like a man coverage uh, a lot of the times. And then you can see I have a man coverage on my slot receiver, which is perfect because cover threes can be very vulnerable to streaks up the slot. This is going to take that away. So anytime you have a slot receiver like we do right here, you can see the man coverage is cornerback is going to take away that slot receiver. And the three wreck is going to act a lot like a man coverage as well. As you're going to see, he's going to follow the guy across the field in the middle. Pretty much everything's locked here. If I freeze this up, you can see nothing's really open except for that one flat defender once again. He tries to throw it deep. It's nothing there. It gets knocked away. I'll show you guys a comparison of the stats at the end of the game compared to what he did against my first defenses to compared to what he does against this these particular defenses, and you're going to see it's night and day. We're getting completely shut down defenses now. So on the next play, once again, we're going right back to that cover three cloud, although it's a show two, so he's not really expecting it. It looks like he thought he might have had a cover two because he's going to try to hit this guy up the cover two seam once again, but sure enough, it's locked up. He's going to try to moss me, which was the plan. And, gotcha, bitch. and then we can see we get an interception. I kind of get screwed on the spot, but he lets me off the hook. He doesn't come out and stack the box and try to blitz me or nothing. He gives me a real easy run lane, so I get five yards back. And on the next play, I get five more, six more, so we get the first down. So he lets me right off the hook. He could have really tried to blitz me, tried to pressure me, give me a sack, whatever. Not the best call on his part. Uh, but then on the offensive side, we're going to hit him with a cover three beater. He's coming out in a cover three, so we're going to hit him with the halfback wheel. This is a very easy cover three, one play touchdown. I put this out in a video before. I'll put this link in the description below as well for the full scheme if you guys want to check that out. All I really do is streak this B route, put the A route on a smart route. That's pretty much all I have to do. Break yourself, fool! He could go all the way! And then we're going right back to that cover three lock one more time. That seam flat, by the way, also acts like a man coverage. If something pulls that seam flat back, 
it will also act like a man coverage on the left side, which is another thing that makes this defense super tough. And then you can see we pause it again. Everything's locked. Everything's double teamed. All the deep routes are doubled up. Only the flat is possibly available. Although not really. As you can see, we're going to get another interception. Although Night Train Lane probably could have picked six that as well if he didn't do a diving catch because of probably acrobat, if I had to guess. Uh, but we're getting the ball right back. And then we go right back to that running scheme. Like I was saying, this is super hard to stop if you know how to run it right. Hit the like button. I will make sure to put a you know gameplay video just showing you guys how to run that uh, run scheme in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, because it's a super hard to stop run scheme. On the defensive side, once again, going back to that cover three lock. Like I said, my opponent has done nothing but get shut down since I've come out with this. Once again, we have our you know we we have basically man or man coverage type looks on both sides with the seam flat, the three wreck, and the man coverage uh, in the slot. So everything here is pretty much going to get locked up. You can see once again everything double teamed with the exception of maybe that flat route which I could easily take away if I want to but instead I'm just basically I'm up three touchdowns so I'll let him have that you know what I mean I'm not worried about him dumping it down considering I'm up by so much I'm worried about a big explosive plays at this point uh, which is the only thing I really want to keep him from having very next play once again he throws it up and he almost had it but I don't That's even know how but we get an interception with that play with Marshawn Lattimore second interception of the day uh, and my opponent's going to go he's going to head for the exits so I mean that's acrobat for you right there we get another interception so just to show you guys the stats real Real quick before he bounced out and he had a total of 128 passing yards now if you remember i showed you the stats before i switched over Aaron Rodgers was six for eight 114 yards and a touchdown and one interception which means that when i switched over to my new defense that and i went through and charted just to make sure i went through and watched every play to watch the outcomes he basically only went two for six the rest of the game with three interceptions and a total of 14 passing yards uh before he basically quit because i was getting so many interceptions so just goes to show how successful i still think the first defense is really good but this second defense obviously looks like an upgrade so try it out yourselves let me know what you guys think in the comment section other than that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video if you guys want to see more videos like this as always do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below